Hey guys, uh, Steve here. We're going to be playing some Amnesia today. Uh, we start off this episode with a bang. There's a chase and scary. And then we make our way to the inner workings of this castle. And uh, we find an elevator that needs some fixing. Hey guys, okay. So, um, yeah, we're, we're back to playing the main Amnesia storyline. I realized that I probably should have just stuck with this as opposed to um, skipping. Because... Uh, I have no idea what has gone down in the past. I know that through this door is that invisible monster. And there's water here, so I'll probably be chased by one now. So, um... We don't have a lantern. Or, oh, wait, yeah, we do. Cool. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. We've got a couple of tinder boxes. Okay, just trying to get everything back. Strong surgical needle, slight headache. Okay. So, uh... Let's open up this door. Asking for trouble. Let's see what's... We're running. We're running. Oh god. It's behind me. It's behind me. Oh, please be a box. Oh, there's a box. I'm gonna jump on it. I'm gonna jump on it. Why did I throw it? It was a terrible idea. Oh, it's a circle! I'm running in a circle. Awesome. Oh, God. Stuff to jump on, stuff to jump on. <laughs> It'll have to go through all that. Okay. Let's go to the right. More stuff to break through for us to jump over. Keep going, keep going. Whew. Okay, so a great way to just start off a video here for the chase. I should be closing these doors, but I'm just not caring. Oh god. Get in, get in. Oh. Whew. Okay, so that's a that's a great way just to start off the start the video with my uh, heart racing. Cool. Uh, I forgot where we are with Daniel's story. Um, Hortensia glittered. Uh, I guess he was on a ship called the SS Hortensia. And my mic level is too high, I think. Oh well. Don't care. Just don't wear headphones. Yes. The level of my mic is too damn high. <gasps> it's the fountain from Emma Story! I guess the fountain from Emma Story is the fountain that's right here. Uh, we got nice, calm music. And our attention is being drawn to this open door where our wind friend is coming out of. But I want to go take a look at these severed legs. Um, in Emma's story, uh, this area right... What? I can splash in the water. That's nice. Oh, so oh. <laughs> it's a it's a baby's face. That's gross. Would you like to see it? <laughs> so we can splash around in this water here. Um, that's, that's actually really gross. It's like a dragon baby head thing. Um, so now we're in this castle place. Uh, I guess I should probably go over here to this door that opened up. Um, we're in a um, nice calm area. It's kind of like the lab in Emma's story, but yeah. And it's cool. You have an ascending room. Ascending. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator an ascending before? Room. Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. So, Daniel, being the ignorant bumpkin he is, calls um, elevators vertical rooms. That's cool. Um, 
I'm assuming that the elevator doesn't work right now, and we need to go get some rods, because that's how it is in Emma's story. It's not working. And we have a memento. Wait, I think. Yeah, find a way to start the engine to power the elevator. And, um, yeah, so we got this room right here, um, which I'm assuming is the machine room, which is going to have, yeah, uh, that's going to be where we place the rods. Uh, I'm not going to go in there. Emma's story kind of ruined me. Um, kind of know the tricks that they're going to pull in this. Um, let's go see what's up here. Actually, there's a wooden door over here. I like wooden doors better because they don't lead to new rooms. Um, plus, if we stay in this little area, maybe nothing can go bad. Oh, no, this goes right into a bad area, which is storage. Do we go to storage? Why not? Let's go storage. Cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside, London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Unlike amnesia, which is the kind of cruelty that he did not want to face. I don't want to face. Um, I got all excited because I was watching somebody else play Emma's story on YouTube, and then I was like, oh, I really want to play amnesia, and then, now that I'm back in it, I'm just like, well, really don't want to play. <laughs> So we got a d dark room. Uh, I'll try to light this up. And the darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Okay, cool. Thank you for just making me feel uneasy about the storage room. Okay. We're just gonna waste all our tinder boxes. Okay, audio just cut out there for a second. You're scary. Ah, so many ways for us to go. And I don't think I have a lot of lantern fuel. Yeah, I don't have a whole bunch. Let's try this door. Got a tinder box. Cool. We got a drill part. Um, that can only mean good things. Um, I'm gonna get a box real quick. Drill part always means there's gonna be somebody. Okay, flashlight out. Flashlight out. Man, hide behind the box. We see him, he's over there. Don't look at him. Okay, it drains our sanity, and you will eventually be seen. Okay, we don't look at him anymore. Because that's scary. We got a box, it's our companion cube. Um, I usually wait until the drum beats are done before I start moving again. But you know what? I'm feeling ballsy. Okay, and I think we're... we got some severe um, sanity loss here. I don't know, we just got a slight headache. That's good. Um, so we gotta find another two dr drill pieces here, um, which is nice. Uh, can I light this, please? Oh, my box is in the way. Um, don't really have a cool name to call it. Um, that's the way the monster went. So we should go down there. Save our monster adventure for another day. I don't like wine cellar era areas. I just, I've grown not to like them. And if I ever visit a real wine cellar, I feel like it will terrify the pants off me, so. Um. Oh, there's so 
so much. And an open door. statue with me. No, it's a wood peeler thing. So we're going we're to take this with us. Oh, we got oil. Laudon. We, we know the guy who created Laudon. Uh, if you watch Emma's playthrough, um, which you can find linked uh, in the description and, or and at the end of this video so yeah which should be coming up actually um, I don't know how much longer I'll play this um, really just have scared myself into not wanting to but we're gonna take we're just gonna carry this um, wood peeler thing around with us. oh we threw it okay we're not gonna carry it with us anymore Got some rope. We can carry the rope. Now I'm gonna take this. If something comes running at me, I can, I can hit him with it or something. Um, we haven't died in our um, playthrough here, um, which is good. Uh, I have an Emma, the custom story, so I know what it's like. It's a terrifying experience, and I'd rather not witness it here. So. Uh, another drill part. Um, so we're gonna grab, hide behind a box, and hope for the best. Gonna go like that. Gonna grab. We're gonna turn off our lantern first. I, I don't know if this is the coward's way to do things, but oh, do we only need two pieces? Oh, no, we need... Fuck. Why did it tell me that? If I, don't, if I don't have all the parts, why did it tell me, Oh, you need all the parts, too? Okay, well, we're going to take a companion cube, then. Um, this little guy. He looks like the runt of the litter. Just... I know where he's going to come out of, too. Because that one door, we didn't go in. Let's run. He's going to come out of the door. Calling it now. Okay. Nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? Okay. Well. I'll take you. You're going to... Your first box friend. Um, Boxford. I hate these. I hate these. Please let me go. I won't tell anyone. I swear. I just want to go home. You can't have that. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Yeah, those, those things are terrifying. Cutscenes. God. It's, it's like. Oh, you weren't scared enough of all the monsters? Well. Hope you don't mind. <gasps> There's bones. Um. It won't budge. Which makes me think that a monster is going to come out of it. But that's only because I'm paranoid. Uh, I need to be a little bit better about my lantern fuel. So Let's light some stuff up. God, it's so dark. It's like the darkness is alive. Let's go. Okay, we have a memento because, again, we have a cave in here, and, um, well, you know. This castle is not structurally sound. Um, so, yeah. Um, 
Now let's let's read that note. The rubble from a cave-in is hindering further progress in the storage. Find a way to get through. Um, well, I mean, we have that door that was not budging a second ago, but I don't think that's going to let us through. Yeah, it won't budge. So, um, yeah, cool. I guess we have to go into that other room that I didn't want to go into. But we'll do that in the next episode. So I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to... I don't know what. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to grab my companion cube here and just kind of roll around on the floor or something. Or, um, I forgot how to spin him. There's a way to spin him around. Oh, I can pull him closer. I can, uh, I think control, no. Command, oh no, the throws him. Okay, well, anyway, uh, enough of me fooling around. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.